Hey, what's up guys? Sean Relt here. Let's look at the Beaverton, Oregon real estate market in the spring of 2023. So I'm looking at the Altos report, which is updated every week. And it looks like the median price is still going up a bit. It's, a, it's at $689,000 right there. And uh, one thing to note is that the inventory is going down. Uh, right now it's a 140 and um, as you can see on the let's look at the inventory quick here uh, right there is where we're at um, February of 2023 it's like 143 that's like seven day average and it's nose diving uh, so there's two parts one is that the sellers aren't putting the house on the market uh, compared to like a normal market the other part is that the buyers are getting used to that five and a half to six percent interest rate quite a bit actually there's one more the uh, local lenders uh, some of our partners offer these programs too but there's like rate buy down programs that you could have first or second year have a lower payment so you can go down below five percent and other partner uh, lender who's offering free refinance down the road so they basically give you a certificate that you can use that and you can refine your mortgage that you're going to buy now down the road so there's a lot of very uh, creative ways to combat this high interest rate and those are the reasons why the the properties are selling um, there are some properties that get like one to two offers now and obviously if it's overpriced it's not going to get an offer and i see that struggle that sort of like a seller and buyers tug of war happening still because the seller's expectation is still a little too high than higher than the buyers are what the buyers are willing to pay for and i'm seeing that quite significantly there's one more thing that's in play is the real estate seasonality typically uh, after about january of every year uh, next three months or so we get the most inventory coming on the market and most volume of sales that is happening and so the other overall the portland real estate market what, what i see is that the price is still like flattening um, it's, it's not really coming down but it's more more flattening and some homes that are priced well that's sl slightly going up there are still multiple offer situations here and there and also there are properties that are kind of sitting on the market if you're in the expectation of let's say beginning of 2022 pricing uh, you're not going to get an offer so at this time for the sellers the pricing really correctly is super super important and the, for the buyers uh, you have a little bit more option a little bit more inventory and more uh, seller credit rate buy down free refinance down the road and then you can negotiate on the repairs maybe on the purchase price and so there's a lot of tools that you could use as a buyer to you know leverage this opportunity and i think this opportunity may not last that long and no, you know nobody knows it could actually go down even more so you could have a better opportunity but the thing is nobody can time that uh, time the market of any kind of bottoms whether it's a stock market or a real estate market so when you see an opportunity when you can use a lot of tools that are available you may have to pay a little bit more for right now but assuming if the price goes up a lot more in about a year and a half from now you'll be happy that you got into a ownership now then waiting another year or so and have to pay who knows how much more um, so there there's nothing really guaranteed but as far as we hear the fed is somewhat flattening the interest rate hike and so once they stop doing that this summer i think the real estate market might just bounce right back up and uh, there are a little bit of sense that this might be that opportunity right now sort of like slow down with many options so hopefully this was helpful if you have any thoughts about the uh, beaverton real estate uh, give me a call uh, we can have like no obligation talk and uh, i'm not really pushy as you can see so uh, we can see what kind of options you might have whether now is better or waiting is better or what kind of other op options that we may be able to present to you 
So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.